Wynn FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following the 2 1 defeat to Yeovil Town in the National League South. Adam, what are your thoughts following that one? Oh, yeah, I thought we played well. Uh, I thought it was a really good performance. Um, yeah, you come up against a team with a lot of, lot of know how, uh, especially for this level. Um, uh, I think that just showed on the day, really, that little bit of experience. Um, um, yeah, just just maybe shone through um, and see them over the line. Um, but yeah, you can't can't fault the players. I thought they gave everything, and it was a really good performance on our, our behalf. And you can see with Yeovil Town reacting like that at Worthing um, to winning the game of football, just how far the clubs come and and how good a team we are. A lot to be said about the character from the team as well to come back from one 0 down quite early on in the game to fight back and get that equaliser as well. Yeah, really soft goal from our, our point of view. I think we've worked them and trapped them into an area, and then we've allowed them to come out with the ball and then try to play off sides. And um, yeah, Rocco's made the save initially and then um, you know rebound. But other than that, it didn't cause us too many threats, I don't think. Um, and then yeah, just like good character from the lads, we kept going, kept playing our way. Um, got a lot of final third entries, a lot of balls into the box, but without too much penetration. Um, you know, something for us to look at definitely. Um, but you know, all in all, like you can't fault the players. They left everything out there, and you know, when you get the goal, we obviously pushing for the winner again. You know, the league leaders coming here. A lot of teams would be happy with a point, but you know, we we back ourselves, and you know, really want to go and try and win win the game. And you know, just got done with a, a set piece that, again, can't keep coming in saying it, but. You know, we keep getting done by these set pieces quite often now, and we need players and goalkeepers that are going to put themselves on the line like theirs did. You know, I thought their goalkeeper any time it went in the six-yard box, come and claimed it, and uh, you know, it's no no for Rocco, but it just shows the levels in it. Um, big, big, strong lad, and a um, lot of experience, and and he come for everything. Um, but ultimately, yeah, you know, they've got two seven and a half that like defending and, and and win lots of headers and. You know, we just come up a little bit short on that, but um, you know, all said and done, we've got to uh, dust ourselves down and you know, move on to Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, it's coming thick and fast away to Hampton and Richmond. It was a tough, tough one up there last time with that 0-0 draw. What were you expecting from Hampton? No, yeah, the um, new manager, new improved side, they've brought a few players in that are good. Um, you know, new striker, that's a big handful from Farnborough. Um, you know, a bit of more experience again at centre back. So, yeah, you, you can't at this league. You can't feel sorry for yourselves. Um, you know, we're, we're close to you know being a very good side. Um, you know, but we've got to learn. We've got to learn. I think there's too many times where we just showed a little naive side to us, um, which you're going to get with younger players. They've got a more experienced. Um, team which they can afford and we're not quite at that level um, and have to do it our way um, with that you get a little bit of naivety at times and you know it's, it's tough to take but um, you know like I say we've got to learn quickly and, and be ready to go Tuesday. And just to switch away from the game today just on the injury front Michael Class out of the squad today and Aaron Racine is there any updates on those two? Um, yeah, we're just waiting on, on the scan from Aaron. Um, it's not looking too brilliant, but yeah, no, until we get the, the finalisation from the scan, then um, you know we'll have to have a look at that one. Um, and Michael just felt his hamstring again on, on Thursday. Nothing too sinister, but I think if we rushed him back for this one, um, he might be missing for longer term. So we're hoping he'll be available for Tuesday. Um, Bailey got a dead leg in the game in midweek, so no, we couldn't start the game. Um, so we've got to see how he reacts, whether he's going to be available for Tuesday. Um, so. Yeah, the game's come thick and fast. Um, the days took a clash to the head, so you've got to see how he is. And you know, the game's come thick and fast, and you need everyone available. Um, that's why we've got the squad we have. Um, but yeah, all in all, like the, the endeavour and, and effort was definitely there. Um, we played with a lot of that again. Um, we've shown that all week, really, uh, in all three of the games, and you know, just come up a little bit short today.